question is we don't know why two objects attract each other and why the objects behave the way they do. Einstein came along and said, I have I have a problem with force at a distance, he said. So why is it that one mass is attracting another mass? He said, I don't know and I don't like that idea. So what he said is, the masses are not interacting with each other, they're interacting with space-time, whatever the heck that is. So you can think of space-time as a trampoline. So if we were to take a trampoline, right, and you put a really heavy object in the center, the trampoline curves downwards, right? So here's a trampoline, you're an adult, you get into the center, curves downwards, you've got your little nieces and nephews are bopping up and down. Before you got on, they're all doing their own thing. What happens after you get on? They bop, bop, bop towards you, right? No matter what they want, they end up like at the center with you. And Einstein basically said that if you take a sun, a star, or the earth or something and place it in space, it curves space-time. And so objects around it behave as if they're on a trampoline. They are attracted towards the object, right? And this, if you take this object and make it really, really, really heavy, what happens is it curves the space-time so much this becomes like a black a funnel where everything that falls in, see here are all the objects, they all go down to the bottom. So well, that's just a theory though, that's not a law. It's a model. It's, it's neither a theory nor a law. It's actually a model, which we haven't talked about in this class. It's, a, <laughs> it's like, a, it's an attempt, it's an analogy, right? It's an analogy to try to describe what we think might be happening but it's like a theory and others... A theory is they, a framework. Oh, are, it's like a law and everyone's... Yeah, there can be multiple models inside a theory for different things. So it starts kind of getting... right? So here basically what happens is if this curvature is so deep, then even light... So in, instead of your car and your shopping cart and your money all going down the black hole, what happens is a light... You have a light particle and it gets sucked in and doesn't come out. Then when the curvature is so great, so deep, that then becomes a black hole, right? Okay, so that was a quick overview of what gravity is about. And just as a reminder for you to go ahead and read the, uh, the multiple choice questions at the end of the lecture as well.